What's going on? Oh, look, there's a little chipmunk peeking out. And look at the squirrel. Isn't he cute? Yes. I oh, look, Roman, the boys and girls have come. Let's say good morning to them. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? We're so glad you've come and joined our Sabbath school here in Tennessee. We're going to start out this morning by getting some sticks. So if you have some sticks, let's see if I can find where I stuck them. <laughs> They're in this pocket, I think. If you have some sticks or if you have some wooden spoons, you can get those from your mom. You might also want to find a bell that will be ringing in just a little bit. And we'll be telling you some more of what we're going to do today. So let's grab our sticks right now and let's sing our TikTok song. Will you sing with me this morning? Be quiet and listen to you hear the clock. Be quiet and listen to the Sabbath song clock. Tick, tick, clock, tick, tick, clock, tick, 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 clock. It's time for our Sabbath school. every Sabbath when we come to Sabbath school. Would you like me to take your TikTok sticks back and we'll put them in the pocket? There they go. I'm glad you're here with us this morning, boys and girls. We're going to get our Sabbath bells now. So if you have, can you go find the Sabbath bells, Roman? If you have a bell that you can ring, or if you have a couple of spoons that you can clank together, anything like that would be great. Or get your daddy's keys maybe and ring them like, um, like a bell. That would work too. Let's ring our bells while we sing, shall we? <laughs> Now, if you have a mirror, you can take a little mirror and put it in front of your face while we have Roman take a look at his face. Can you turn this way first? There we go. And let's sing our song, Who Has Come to Sabbath School? Who has come to Sabbath School? this morning. Well, boys and girls, before we do any more, we want to ask our friend Jesus to be with us in Sabbath school, don't we? So let's get ready. We're going to bow our heads and bend our knees and fold our hands and close our eyes. We want to talk to our friend Jesus. Can you do that with me? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees. We thank you that we can be worshiping together even though we're not together in person. We can still worship you together. We ask that you will come into our Sabbath school this morning, that you will fill each home with your presence, and that we will know that you've been with us through this time. We thank you, Jesus, and we love you with all our hearts and can't wait to see you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. Oh. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for being so quiet during prayer. We're going to get ready for our memory verse now. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for, to say our memory verse this morning that we've been learning this week. But before we do, we want to say hello to everybody that's here because I'm sure by now you've all gotten ready and are 
ready to start Sabbath school. So let's see who's here today, shall we? Well, I see Easton today. Hi, Easton. And there's Reagan. And Everly and Jax, I know you'll be with us today. Hi, Annie. Hi, she's right here. How about that? And hi, Becca. How are you today? Glad to see you this Sabbath day. Hi, Finley. Glad you're here. Hi, Lun Kim and Kim. I miss seeing you in Sabbath school. And Cheyenne, I sure miss you too. It's been a long time. And there's Brielle. I'm glad you're here, Brielle, and I'll bet I see Luke and Emily, too. And I see Oliver, and of course with Oliver comes Lila. Hi, guys. Glad you're here today. And then we've got our, our friend Gunner. We haven't seen him in our Sabbath school yet, but we're waiting for him. And then there's Kaylin and Colton. How are you guys doing so far away? Happy you're joining us. And Lily and Owen, so happy to see your smiles today. And there I see Evelyn and Erica out west. Good to see you guys, miss you. Hi Titus, hi Day. hi Winston, everybody wave. Cousins are seeing cousins, glad to see you guys. There's River, wave to River. And there's Maverick and Maddox, hi guys. Hi, Kaylee and Colton. Glad you're with us today. Hi, Rachel. Missing you, too. Hope you get to come see us soon. There's Rose. Miss you, Rose. Love to see your happy smile. Hi, Nathaniel and Andrew. So glad you're with us today. And Drake and Marcy, I'm happy you're with us, too. And Ellie, always glad to see Ellie join us. And now today, I have a group with me. We've got Annie's sisters, of course, Allison and Becca, or Becca, Tessa, and then we have Roman with us, of course, and we have Amy with us today. So we're going to say your memory verse for you. So you can help us say it. Will you say it with us? I'll say it, and then you say it. Obey. Obey. The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 26, 13. 26, 13. That is great. And who's this lesson about? Jonah. Jonah and the big fish. We'll tell that story a little bit later in our program. Right now, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, let's sing our memory verse song. I'm glad you learned it this week. Let's sing together and clap our hands. Are you ready? I'm glad I know my Just 
making noise and his ears are going. And look at him hopping. I'll bet you boys and girls can be like little bunnies, can't you? Let's all stand up and let's pretend we're little bunnies and hop. Shall we do that? Roman's giving this one a hug. 
Are you ready to sing with me? Sabbath school today. You see what we found? We were working out in the yard of one of our neighbors and we found a cool box turtle. Isn't he pretty? Look at those red eyes. Can you see those eyes on him? And he's just not being too afraid. Hello little turtle come out of your shell. Do you know that Jesus made you? Hello, little turtle, come out of your shell. Do you know that Jesus made you? He does have feet. They're tucked up inside right now. Let's try putting him down and see if he'll walk for us. Let's put him right. We'll move these things here and we'll put him right here. Now let's all stand back. See if he'll come on out. And I see his head cut starting to come. Well, I guess he's not going to come out any further than that right now. Let's see if he'll walk first. I don't know if you can shorten that up, Brianna, if you need to. Lots <laughs> Do you think a nudge will help him? I don't know. That might scare him more. Well, boys and girls, our hike is over for the day, and it's getting time for us to get ready for bed and to eat dinner, and so Mother is going to call. She's going to call and say, come on, it's time to come, it's time to eat, come to the campfire. So when your mother calls, boys and girls, what should you do? What should you do, Roman? You should come running just like that. I love that you came running right over and I hadn't even called you yet. So let's get ready. Boys and girls, you get on one side of the room. Your mom and dad can be on the other side of the room. And have your mom or dad call you. Let's see if you can obey and do what they ask you to do, just like Roman came running so quickly, shall we? Okay, Roman, go back over there and you can come running when we sing. Shall we get our flashlights and go to the campfire?
and we're going to make some camp stew. Do you like stew, boys and girls? I love camp stew. It tastes so good over a fire. When it's cooked over the fire, we're going to pretend. So do you have your little bowl and spoon that you can pretend with us? Roman's ready for, for some stew. Would you like some too? Jesus made my stew taste mmm, mmm, good. I'm going to put some in your bowl, and I'm going to put some in my bowl. Be careful of that fire. It might get hot. You don't want to put your hands right over it, do you? No. Okay, I've got mine. Do you have yours? Are you ready to sing with me? Jesus made my stew taste mmm.
God has given to us? You know what? Jesus loves us so, so much. He has promised to be with us every day, every night, whether we're in the forest, whether we're out on the road, whether we're shopping, whether we're at school, wherever we are, Jesus is with us and he loves us, doesn't he? Will you sing with me, Jesus loves me this morning? And we can clap our hands while we sing. Jesus loves me. Come down to a 
great big boat. And he's paying some money to the man so that he can get on the boat. He found this big boat that would carry him to a faraway place. Jesus told Jonah to go in that direction, but Jonah went in that direction, the opposite way. He bought a ticket, he got onto the boat, and after he got onto the boat, he said, I'm going to hide. So where did he go? Where did he go, Amy? To the bottom of the ship and he slept. He went down, like Amy said, to the bottom, the very bottom of the ship. And there he fell sound, fell sound asleep. I think he thought he was hiding from God. Was he hiding from God? Yeah. No. Can God see us wherever we are? Yeah. Yes, God can see us wherever we are. And Jesus knew just where Jonah was. Well, what happened next? What happened? Do you know? A big storm came. A big storm came. All right, we need to make a big storm. Who's ready to make a big storm? All right, can you do this? This is going to sound like a little okay. Let's stop a minute. This is going to be the rain, and so I'm going to have you three guys be the rain. Oh, now we've got Kevin. Kevin can help be the rain, too. You can do this. This is the rain, and then I need some wind. Can you guys help me be wind? you got to say it. Oh, I don't hear enough wind. Do you guys hear enough wind? Okay, let's be really loud, girls. I'll help you. And I don't hear your rain. You guys help us too on, on, as you're watching. You can make rain. You can make wind. And then we need some lightning and thunder every once in a while. Kevin, will you be our lightning and thunder? Well, you can't be our lightning. Can you be our thunder? Okay. Can you, you know what? Thunder makes a loud noise. Can you take that pot over there and bring it over? We're going to let you hit that lid on the pot. And let's see if that we sounds like it. We should turn like the it. lights on every once in a while. For the we lighting. could do that. Brianna can get the lights for us. There you go. There's our thunder. Okay, not, not too many times, all right? Okay, let's see what happened. A great big storm came up, and it started raining. Come on, rain. And the wind started blowing. And the thunder started rolling. And there was thunder and lightning so much. Keep the wind blowing. All right, and what happened to that boat? It rocked this way and that way, and all the people on board were getting thrown around, and Jonah was down in the bottom, sleeping peacefully. But the men up, men up, up on top, they were so scared, they said, what's going to happen? Where's all my soldiers that are rocking on the boat? Come on, guys. We're so, we're people on the boat rocking. Something's got to happen. Who's caused this storm? And somebody went downstairs and there they found Jonah sleeping peacefully. And they said, wake up, wake up, pray to your God. Ask him to help still the storm. And Jonah got up and he went up and he looked and he saw the terrible storm. And he said, oh no. I'm the one that caused this storm. It's because of me that we're having this storm. And Jonah said, okay, guys, you've got to do one thing. And what was that? Throw him overboard. We've got to throw him overboard. Oh, did they want to do that? No. No, but Jonah said, you must throw me overboard. So they picked Jonah up, and they got a hold of him. And they threw him, splash, <laughs> into the water. Let's see if we 
have a picture. There he is. There is Jonah in the water. And as soon as he hit the water and went down, 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 what happened to that storm? A big fish came. Oh, the storm stopped, didn't it? And everything was calm and peaceful and quiet. But Jonah, having sunk down, down, down into that water, into the sea, he was going down far, farther and farther and faster and faster when suddenly something swallowed Jonah. Now Jonah, okay guys, Jonah must have thought, what in the world is happening? And then he realized he had been swallowed by a big fish, a great big fish. And can you imagine, it must have been smelly, whoo-wee, inside that fish, because he was in the fish's tummy. And it might have been really tight in there and cramped, but he was still alive because the fish had swallowed him whole. And while he was there, what did he do? Pray. He prayed. And he could feel the fish the fish was swimming, and he felt the fish go down, 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 down. He felt the fish go up, 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 because he even says that in his prayers. He was down there in the mountains, he says, under the water, swimming inside of that fish. But you know what? He was kept safe, wasn't he, in the fish? And he prayed and prayed to God, and he said, Oh, God, if you let me live through this, I will go where you asked me to go. Well, after three days in the fish's belly, that fish, I think he probably started having a tummy ache. Don't you think? Yeah. I think so too. And that fish got feeling sicker and sicker and sicker until finally, just like we do sometimes, that fish vomited Jonah right out onto the beach. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And Jonah came out. He looks pretty repentant here, and I think he's thankful to be out of that fish. Who knows? Maybe he had seaweed all tangled up around his head from inside the belly of that fish. But he was ready to do what God asked him to do, wasn't he? And he did. He went right to where there was another boat. He got on another boat. Was there a storm on that boat? No. And God took him where he needed to go. He went to the city that God had sent him to, and he told the people there about the message that God had said to give them. And the people there who were bad, guess what they did? They said, we are so sorry, God. And they prayed and asked God to forgive them. And did God destroy them? No. Oh, no. Because our God is a loving God. And God said, I forgive you because you have repented. I forgive you. I love you. I want to teach you about myself. Let's see. I think I have maybe one more picture. Let's see if we have one more. Yes, here we have Jonah. Jonah is telling all of the people in Nineveh about the great God who loves and cares for them, and they repented. So, boys and girls, how many of you want to choose to obey? Like, Jonah finally obeyed, but isn't it better to obey the first time? and not the second time, because if we disobey the first time, it always brings trouble, doesn't it? But if we choose to obey mom and dad, if we choose to obey our grandparents, if we choose to obey God the first time, we won't get into all that trouble, will we? No. All right, shall we say our memory verse? Let's bring it back. 
And see our memory verse here. You can see Jonah there again in the water with that big fish right behind him. And let's say our memory verse. Obey. 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 The voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. 26. 26. 13. 13. Very good. I'm so happy that we are all going to learn that lesson, aren't we? To choose to obey Jesus. Shall we have our prayer? Yeah. All right, let's bow our heads. Thank you, dear Jesus, that you have given us this exciting story that we can learn a lesson from. We ask that you will help us to learn to obey. First time we are asked to do something. And we want to listen and obey your voice, most of all. Be with us through this next week, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, boys and girls, we've had a wonderful time in Sabbath school, haven't we? And now it's time for us to be on our way to watching church. So let's say goodbye to each other for this week, and we'll sing our goodbye song together, and then we'll see you next week, okay? Our Sabbath school is